This video is on percentiles, and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, several examples of how you use a formula to calculate uh, percentiles. But first of all, a definition. A percentile is a measure of how a particular number or data point or some score ranks within a population, within a group of data. For example, if a doctor says that a baby's length or height uh, is in the 90th percentile, then that means that the baby is longer or taller. Uh, then 90% of the other babies. 90% uh, would be sh below that baby. Now, P sub X represents the notation for the X percentile. So if there's a certain number here, like 20, then that would represent the 20th percentile. Now, in the first example, uh, we're told that uh, John was told his exam score lies in the 70th, 70th percentile. So two questions, what was his score and how does his score relate to the other exam scores? Now, if that's all that John was told, then if it in the seven, he's in the 70th percentile, then that means that, uh, relating, relating to the second question here, that 70% of the other students had scored low, scores lower than John. However, that alone does not tell him anything about what his actual score or mark was on the exam. Now, if we had a percentile graph of those group of students, and we'll, I'll show you how to draw percentile graphs near the end of the uh, lesson here. If you had a percentile graph, then the way you could find his score is this. You could say, well, okay, so 70th percentile is here. It's uh, partway between 50 and 100. And we could go across here and then down. So his score would be around 40. Now, 40, that doesn't mean 40%. Uh, perhaps a max score is uh, 60 or something like that. But that, it, that would just, whatever that number is, that's what his score would be. But you would only be able to determine that if you, if you had a percentile graph. So a little bit of terminology before we get an example showing how to calculate uh, um, uh, percentiles. Uh, P sub 25 uh, stands for the 20th, 5th percentile. And uh, there's a couple specific names for certain percentiles. Uh, that's called the lower or first quartile. So Q1 um, represents the 25th percentile. The 50th percentile, P50, is called the median. Uh, you could also call it the second quartile or the middle quartile uh, if you wanted to, but it's, it's generally called the median. Uh, P75, or the 75th percentile, is called the third quartile. So Q3, the third quartile, is uh, the 75th percentile. Those represent the same thing. The deciles are all the percentiles that are divisible by 10. So for example, the 10th percentile is the first decile. The second decile is the 20th percentile. Um, the 100th percentile would be D10, or the 10th decile. Now this formula gives the position of whatever X is, X represents the percentile number, uh, within an array of uh, N data points. So N represents how many data points you have here. Uh, percentile goes, percent of course normally goes up to 100, so that's why the denominator here is 100. Now, what an array is, it's an ordered set of numbers, either ascending or descending. We normally go from uh, in ascending order, but you could, I suppose, go in descending order, too. So in example two, we're given this following, uh, the following data set represents the number of water bottles uh, sales at a, a two-week fair. So there's uh, 14, two weeks is 14 days, uh, 14 numbers here altogether. Now, in order to use that formula, we need the numbers in order. So... It's, it's especially if you're doing this more than once. If you're doing this once, I suppose you could count. But if you had just the top number, if you need them to, like, to know what the, let's say, the eighth number is, you'd have to go, okay, 57 is the first, uh, 78 is the second, 83 is the third, etc. So it's best to actually put them in order, and then that process is a lot quicker. So in, uh, in the first question here, we're asked to calculate med the median, which of course is the uh, 50th percentile. Now, so P this isn't P50, it's the position of P50. Position means which number in that list, you know, the 8th one, the 10th one, the 4th one, whatever it would be. And so um, 
for the, uh, there's 14 numbers here if you count how many there are, so that's why we're putting 14 in place of n. So 14 plus 1 would be 50 here, uh, 15 here, sorry. Uh, x is 50 because we're looking at the median, the 50th percentile. And so uh, 15 over 100 times 50, or you could do 15 times 50 divided by 100 is 7.5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's the seventh number, that's the eighth number. So 7.5 means the number right in the middle between those. So, and you could actually just average those since it's 7.5, it means right in the middle. Uh, it's not going to always be 0.5, so the, the, I'm going to show you how to do this in general. So P50, the 50th percentile, would be the value of the 7th position, which is the 95, that's the 7th number, plus 0.5 times the difference between these two numbers. So the value of the 8th one, which would be the 96, minus the value of the 7th one, which is the 95. So plugging in the numbers, the actual numbers from the data set here, the 7th uh, number is 95, and then plus th this 0.5 here is the 0.5 from the 7.5, uh, times uh, in brackets 96 minus 95. 96 is the 8th number, uh, the 95 is the 7th number. So that's 1. 1 times 0.5 of course is 0.5, so we're actually just adding 0.5 to 95, which of course is 95.5. So if you get a 0.5, you actually can just average those two numbers, and that will give you what the, well, the median or whatever the number is, if it's a, another quartile or percentile. So the median is 95.5. Uh, in B here, we're asked to find the third quartile. So the third quartile uh, means that uh, x is 75, it's the 75th percentile. And so again, uh, n is uh, 14 numbers, so 14 plus 1 is 15, and x is 75. So 15 times 75 divided by 100 is 11.25. So in order to find the uh, 75th percentile, it would be the value of the 11th position, because this number, it, the, the uh, whole number part is 11, plus the 0.25 times the difference between the next number after 11, the 12th one, and the 11th one. So if you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's the 11th, that's the 12th. So the value of the 11th position is 115, the 12th one is 120. So this one's 115 plus the 0.25 times the difference between the 12th and the 11th, so we're subtracting 120 and 115. And so this is what that calculation looks like. So basically it's 0.25 times 5, this would be 5, which is 1.25. So this part's 1.25 that we're adding to the 115, and so that'd be 116.25. So this, the uh, third quartile, or the 75th percentile, is 116.25. The sixth decile uh, means that x is 60 here, and so we put 60 in place of x, and of course n is still 14, so 14 plus 1 is 15. And so 15 times 60 over 100, divided by 100, is 9. Now it's nice when this works out to the a whole number, because it just means that the, the sixth decile is the ninth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that would be 102. So and there's the calculation. So the uh, sixth decile, or the 60th percentile, is the number 102. It's the ninth number from the bottom in the data set. Uh, one more here. Uh, we're asked to find, and I just I didn't want to do one of the deciles in meeting. I just chose a, sort of a random percentile, so we're doing P24. And so x is 24, and again, n is still 14, so 14 plus 1 is 15. So 15 times 24 divided by 100 is 3.6. So, the, the whole number part is 3, so uh, P24, the 24th percentile, would be the third position number, which of course is 83 here, plus 0.6 times the difference between the fourth and the third one, which of course be the 87 and 83 subtracted. And so there's the calculation again. So this is basically 4 times uh, 0.6 is 2.4. So you're adding 2.4 to 83, so it'll be uh, 85.4. So the 24th percentile is uh, 85.4. Uh, one last example. This one has to do with how you construct a percentile graph. And uh, you might, uh, so this is some heart rate data from 40 different people. 
and uh, the the lowest people had heart rates in the range from 40 to under 50, so 40 to 49, I guess that would be. And there were four people, uh, 50 to under 60 were six people, uh, 60 to under 70 were 11 people, etc. So what you should do then, once this, so this would just be your data right here in the first two columns, is calculate. Uh, a, a column here called the cumulative frequency. Cumulative means you keep on adding a, sort of like a running total. So in the first category there's four people. Um, the second category means all the people that are under 60. So it would be this group of people and this group of people, the four and the six add together. So we add this four and this six, six to get ten. And then to go to the next category we take the total ten or you could go I guess four six again plus the 11 to get 21. 21 plus 8 would be 29, so there's uh, 29 people in total that have heart rates under 80. Uh, 29 plus 5 is 34 for the next one, plus 3 more is 37, plus 2 more is 39, and there's one person between 110 to under 100, under 120, and so that gives you a total of 40 people. Now, the cumulative percent is uh, basically the percent each of these cumulative frequencies are of the total. So we divide each of them by 40 and change it to a, a percentage. So 4 divided by 40 would be 0 0.10, which is 10%, multiplied by 100. Uh, 10 divided by 40 times 100 is 25%, and then the 21, 21 divided by 40 uh, divided by 40 times 100 is 53%, etc. So you keep on going. Of course, the top one, 40 divided by 40 is 1 exactly, which is 100%. And so you plot each of these. So the, uh, the beginning here, there's nobody under 40, so that's why we'd start that one right at 0. And then the, uh, the beginning of the second category, or the, uh, the actually, sort of the end of the first one, is the 10%. So at 50, I would put the, uh, the 10%. And then at 60, I would put the 25. So there's 25 right there. And then at 70, we would put 53, the 53%. So that's 53, a little bit below the 55. And then 73% next, and then the 85, and the 93, and the 98. And then above the, uh, the end of the last category, above the 120, we put 100%. And so we draw a curve through them. So that's a percentile graph. Now, if you, for example, wanted to read from that uh, us to know what, uh, you know, what's the median, for example? Well, see, this is 20, uh, 40, so that would actually be 50%. Uh, so you actually could go right across here and then read right down. So the median should be about 70. So those are things you could read from a percentile graph. Uh, if you want to know the lower quartile, the first quartile, so that's 20, so this is 25. So we go across from here and read right down, that's 60. Actually, that's pretty obvious from the table here, because the lower quartile, or first quartile, is 25%, so that should be 60. So that's how you read uh, numbers from the graph. Now, if you want to know, for example, uh, you know, what's... Uh, a certain number here. So uh, let's say uh, if you had a heart rate of 55. So you could go to 55 here and, and read up to the graph and that's going to be a little bit below 20, maybe 18 or something like that. So that would be the uh, 18th percentile. So that's how you can read percentiles or uh, what the data points are in percentiles from uh, a percentile graph. And that's the end of the video.